Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to create a pre-sale website on Ethereum blockchain with payments in Ethereum and any stablecoin. In this case we're going to do a USDT stablecoin but you can set this into a USDC or any other token. So two payment options. And this how the website looks. You can change uh, the background and the logos based on your project theme. And uh, we're going to go into details with this one. I'm gonna deploy the smart contract, uh, show you how to set it up and then test it. So the first thing we do, uh, you can uh, reach out to me on Telegram if you need help on setting this up and uh, the first thing we do is we go to the smart contract uh, copy the smart contract and paste it on ethereum.org remix.ethereum.org and then here we have we uh, use control f to search and we search for a wallet address so we can find uh, the code we want to edit quicker so the first address here is our token, the token we want to sell. And the second address is the USDT address, which be, will be used as a uh, second payment method. The primary is in ETH. But we can change this and set payment on USDC or any other token. Then here we have uh, the price. Uh, the price is uh, 0 0.21 dollars, like 21 cents. And so we have 4.7 tokens for one dollar. And then here we have the pre-sale tokens, which is 1,500,000. We can set this based on our uh, total supply. And then we have the minimum buy in USDT and the minimum buy on Ethereum. This is for now. And then here uh, we set the owner. This will be used when you want to withdraw uh, the Ethereum and the USDT from the contract. You use the withdraw function and the, the ETH and USDT will be sent to your address. Then we have here the aggregator, which is uh, for calculating the price of Ethereum in real time. You don't have to change this, just set your wallet. After that, you deploy the smart contract. We're going to use a test network to deploy the smart contract. After it is compiled, we go deploy, choose uh, the pre-sale contract and click deploy. Oh, we need to select injected provider. After that, click confirm. And uh, we verify the smart contract now. We can do that by copying the code, wait for the transaction to go through. The test network is a bit slow sometimes. Now we're going to verify the smart contract and I'm going to show you the functions and what they do. So the contract has successfully deployed. Now we go and verify it, click verify and publish select single file the compiler version we used uh, 8.15 and uh, no license 
paste the code and verify now the contract is verified we're gonna check the function so this is the functions to buy the token buy with usdt buy with eth these will be integrated to the website here we can change the minimum buys uh, here we change the owner we change the price token so we can change and use the same smart contract to sell another token change the total supply available for pre-sale here is change usdt this is so you can change uh, the second payment method so in case you later decide to not accept usdt anymore but you want usdc you set the usdc address here and uh, will be accepting payments in usdc now this is the start time stop pre-sale transfer eth and the uh, eth will be transferred to the wallet i told you earlier this wallet and here we have transfer tokens so you can transfer the usdt or any other tokens the pre-sale tokens that are uh, inside the contract now after we're done with the smart contract we need to integrate with the website we go to the files we open the files on the visual studio code and we set the addresses here to integrate so uh, the first address here is the contract address then we set here our uh, wallet address then here we have the usdt address and uh, this is our token address the token for the pre-sale which is here here and here after we set those make sure to click save or save all if you made any changes on the other pages click save all and all you need to do then is upload your files to the cPanel or any other provider you use and that's it and now we can go and test it we need to switch to the mainnet let's see here connect wallet and I don't have much ETH so I'm gonna try with USDT buy with USDT with 15 USDT we get 71 so as you can see here it works perfectly I'm not going to approve but it works great so this is it guys thank you for watching make sure to reach out to me if you need any help with your projects we'll be happy to assist links are on the description and uh, don't forget to subscribe thank you and see you next time